Iceland. Iceland. And it's currently 6 a.m. as well, so I feel like throughout the day it'll get a little warmer, but I don't mind it. I don't mind the cold. I love to be warm. Actually, I hate the cold. I hate when it's like so cold I can't like do anything, but I don't mind the breeze. Ain't that right, Sebas? You're clearly from LA. Look at you. It's cold. I warned you. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? So this is our ride, but do you guys see how it's changing colors? I need an eyeshadow that color. I need one. Doing it the right way over here. <laughs> Oh, yummy. Sebastian's trying these chips. The tea is, is that this is how they should look, but in reality, <laughs> that's how they look. Wait, that's actually a good example. This is how they really look. A fraud. Blade. We were greeting with some snacks, but we also got these Hydrodol under eye eye masks from Elf, and then this hydrating coconut mist that smells <laughs> incredible. <laughs> cold <clears throat> we just walked outside to the lava and clearly we are the first ones back Bob's in the back she's, <laughs> she's cold too we're freezing yeah. Ooh, look at the lighting it's setting like a mood right now wow okay so we are looking for our room we found it Karen is out of this world so cute we're like really out here guys we're really in Iceland Mm, thank you. Really, cheers. Just got a little bit of breakfast right now. Can you believe we are regular, regular OJ people? No mimosas for me today. A few moments later. playing with the recharging magnetic mask. I asked Sebastian to be my model, he said no, he walked away. So, my next victim. Mirala, no makeup. Mira, hermosa. And yes, we are at dinner, we're pajamas, so don't judge us, okay? <laughs> That's what they told us. So I'm gonna do this mask, we're turning it on my hand right now, and we are both like, what? It's so cool. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Are you nervous? Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, that's crazy. I feel like I gotta eat on that face, you know? <laughs> Karen touched my face, I'm so excited guys. <laughs> I want her to do my makeup. Um, I need you to do my makeup, what do you want to Comment down below if she should do my makeup. I've been begging for years. I asked years ago. And you said no, <laughs> text me, text me. I'll text you back. Green. <laughs> and can I just clear the air? I did not get my titties done. You may have seen me with breasts at her launch party, but no. So mom asked her if I got my tickle bitties done, guys. My <laughs> mom texted me and she goes, Hey, Patrick, se puso chichis. <laughs> Like, give me Game of Thrones vibes right here. I've never seen the show, but I know it's what it looks like. And actually, fun fact, they did film Game of Thrones here. Wow. <laughs> Your jacket is so comfortable. By the way, this is the elf jacket. I wore Sebastian's because I have like a really tricky sweater underneath and I wanted to be warmer, so I prefer to get a bigger jacket. But and is it working? <laughs> it's working, but look at it. It's like my arm. Like, Still look cute though. So we just went to, through these rocks and this is this area called Dead Men Walking. It's where they used to hang people back in the day. Pretty creepy. They said it's kind of haunted too. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we're headed out to the next location. I need yeah. some soup. Even my though I, okay, he, every time he has a little sniffle, he's like, I'm so sick. <laughs> I'm serious. Guys are so like, they always are. I'm super sick right no, now. You're not, you're fine. 
Look at you're sick, you're walking, you're fine. Well, I'm not dead okay, either. Comment below if your boyfriend is very delicado, delicate to anything, any little like any headache, any little sniff, little cough. They're suddenly sick. They don't have to do it themselves. This morning he was like, babe, I need soup, I need medicine. I don't know what wow. to do. And I'm like, you're fine. I feel like we're about to be in some real life Mario Kart shit. You better go fast. Don't push us, cause we're close to the edge. We're trying not to lose our heads. I get the feeling sometimes that make me wonder why you want to take us under. Why you want to take us under. Planning on taking this off, but glad I didn't because we just found out it's actually about 30 ish degrees down there, so it's a lot colder. And this is like a legit blanket inside of here, so I'm really bundled up. I have a really bad wedgie. I gotta pick my wedgie one second. You pull it over your hips, and then you. It's good. I feel like I have a wedgie. I look like I have a penis head though. <laughs> I do not want to look down right <gasps> Shut up. We are really doing this. So I just asked the lovely gentleman right here what exactly is this cart called because I didn't know how to explain it to you guys. It's actually what they use to clean skyscraper, like windshields on skyscrapers. It's also called, it's called the uh, Volcano Express. Oh, me. No quiero ni mirar. We are still going down. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like this is like some Blair Witch kind of stuff right now. <laughs> you look hilarious. <laughs> Do it again. I think I forgot how cold it was, honestly. I'm just like tripping that we are really doing this. We are about halfway there, about like two minutes to go. And uh, I was actually pretty scared that we were gonna have trouble breathing. With altitude, it gets hard, so I never knew if it was gonna be the same going down, but it's actually a lot more fresh down here. I'm just like, will this thing or what? Are we good? You're probably the, the only girl with this big of lashes in this volcano ever. <laughs> Look at the light, it says elf. Excuse me. As nuts as it is down here, I have to say, this is like the coolest thing ever. 500 years ago, the only place on the planet where you can go down the lava shaft of a volcano and see what it looks like on the inside. Because usually these things um, collapse after the eruption, it leaves just a big bowl. So this is a very unique place. And uh, you could fit the Statue of Liberty in here, largest lava caves on the planet. First guy who went down here went down in 1974. 
He was 19 years old at the time, and uh, he had heard that there was a big uh, opening here at the big cave. Nobody had managed to go down. So he brought 10 friends with him, a long rope, and they lowered him by hand all the way to the middle here. Wow. So he really trusted his friends. <laughs> Either very brave or a little stupid. Oh Lord. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. You did it. I mean I did that. I cannot be risking my life like that. Wow, look at this. Wow. Oh my gosh. We just checked into our hotel here at the Blue Lagoon and this is insane. It's literally out of this world. That's the lagoon. Hey, I love a shower like that. I've done a shower in my life. All right, so guys, we are at dinner and we're actually on dessert. We were so hungry that we ate our food so fast. And this is our lovely dessert for the evening. Low fat, low carb, low sugar. <laughs> low everything. Low everything. Dude, you need to just yeah, like live. You guys she need to drink some of this blue motherfucking lagoon water. Okay, that's he what is telling me that he cannot have a drink because why? Yeah, so, yeah. Why? Look, my hair's already getting frizzy. I'm just, you I'm are just so anxious. Look what alcohol does to me. Chug. Let's go. Chug. Five seconds. Five. Four. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Was that good? Well, we don't know, I assume. Yeah. <laughs> an espresso martini. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just had an espresso martini, which is pretty much espresso and alcohol. It gets you lit, but it wakes you up. So if you guys are ever in the need and you're like feeling tired, just ask for an espresso martini. Thank me later. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.